Hello and welcome to Gearock Farms. In today's video, we have some fixing to do around the farm here. And, uh, we also got to clean out the, the alleyway in our uh, bull barn, heifer barn, dry cow barn. Start off fixing a water cup. Dad noticed the leak uh, a day or so ago. And uh, thankfully the weather's nice. So we're gonna take advantage of it and uh, clean out the water cup and do a, a nice solid repair. So a little bit of a, a fixing and farming type of video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Dad's got a pile of tools and you know, I'm bringing the last of the airline and I'm going to clean up in here a little bit along with him so we got some uh, a nice clean space to work here. Check your power off and you remember to put back on. We could probably just leave them off now if we want to remember to put them back on. You know, while you're gone. I mean, I'm just saying, you, if you get a little street voltage thing, you just wind. The only good thing about them is they heat a little bit and it kind of keeps things dry right here. What Dad's referring to is the heaters in these because uh, right now it's been above freezing. It's actually probably going to be high like 45, 50 today. And then, well, even if it freezes at night, I mean, it's not going to freeze in here. It would probably have to get down to like 10 degrees before, you know, you'd have to be scared of them. Yeah. Out there, maybe if it gets down to 20 degrees, because even there, they're, they're protected, but they're not. Just kind of remember to turn them on if, if it's supposed to get it's cold. It's going to get cold. And we're going to try and do these without twisting them off. Because my stubs in here aren't stainless. And I think I got two of them broke off already. It's a really good design. There's just not enough room here to work, and I believe they could have made this a lot hardier, a lot stronger. But I imagine that it costs so much, and then they can't sell them like they like to. The weight of the water is what shuts the valve off. This cattle can't really play with it and make a mess. Well, at least it ain't below zero. Yeah, it's a really nice day to do this. I mean, what happens here? That heater in here, you, they're known to go out maybe in 10 years, you know, every 10 years. This barn is 30 years old already, and these cups got to be over 20. First five years, we had mirror fountains, and then we switched up to these. They're more sanitary is really what it was, and it's better for the smaller calves. I had to replace the heaters and maybe the thermostat, which is, it's, it's not that hard to do, but you don't know that it went bad until it gets cold. There's no way of knowing. So you're usually in here with frozen fingers trying to work on this and you got calves that are thirsty because the cup was froze so they're all pestering you. And sometimes I had to get a piece of plywood block this off so I could actually work on this. And then you don't want to fumble your tools because there's this tube that goes down and anybody who knows how these work that the heat from the ground keeps the line open. It gets you below the frost. So you got a piece of culvert that goes down like six feet to where your water line comes into it. Whatever gets dropped down there usually stays down there. So you don't want to have your favorite ratchet. <laughs> a little bit of a time capsule down there, I imagine. <laughs> I think I got a couple screwdrivers down a hole here or two over the years. But again, no, nobody's going to lose sleep over that. You just move on. I know where they are. They're not really lost. <laughs> One day, when you have to redo something, then uh, we might be able to fetch them. Yeah. You mean when you got to redo it? Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. And you'd be like, "What the heck did they do?" Maybe this you'll be standing. There, maybe you'll be standing there telling me what I'm doing. Well, I'll, be, I'll be with a cane, poking at you and pointing. And what the heck, you boys? Can't figure this out. Back in the day, I had it where I had to pack it in straw overnight just to. Just to keep the water open. Gotta get pretty cold for this one way back in here. Please. And then if you got enough cattle drinking out of them, they kind of keep the, you know, because the water coming out of the ground is 50 degrees. So the water will heat itself if it got enough of it flowing. What do you think we should do? Just twist them off and we only got one peg left. See how the tube is part way full of water? And that's just from that slow leak. And it was coming right out of right here. 
So this hose I got to replace with this hose. Like a little piece of hydraulic line with a... And then there's actually a little filter that goes in here, which I stopped using because I think it's if you got a little sand in your water or something, it might interfere with the valve, but they seem to plug up too easy. I mean, I think you have to kind of decide what you want to do. If you want to take them apart every, every month or if you want to just deal with a cup that might not seal up every time. But these have been pretty good. There you go, we got it out without uh, breaking it off. Took, uh, took a lot of time, but we got it. That's gotta come off the top. Right here, we're gonna undo this. And I think it's kinked a little bit, so it don't seal quite right. And it's in some crappy conditions in here all the time. And actually, when the heaters are on, it kind of dries them out, because they're always damp. And the cattle do lick at the water, so it does slosh around a little bit there, so it's never going to be there. Now you should go. Oh, you got some weight in Okay, if you can tip them to the side, get them away from the hole. Just remember which way it goes here now. Okay, so the valve goes back to that button. Then let's take a look at that pin. And how's the heater look? Yeah, okay, right there. Okay. What do we need for a screwdriver? Swallow them for me? Just gonna... Fighting with the hose clamp made our fitting come out of our, or loosened up our fitting, so I was able to just thread that out instead of taking the whole hose clamp off. But we'll need to get that fitting out of there. Unless the. The new one has one with... Oh no, it does. So we don't need this. Dad's going to get a new valve so we can take the other side off. so he'll come loose. There. Now remember which way that goes. That goes that way so that goes towards the pipe towards the inside. Too curious, huh? Just can't leave it alone. Here's what we got going so far. Hopefully that's uh, the way it was. I guess we'll find out. Trying to get that pin in. Yeah. That can be real fun when you're hovering over this whole thing. That's good. That's all you need. This goes like this. I think the pictures show this on top. It can be going. It could go underneath too. But I think on top. what happens is, is this starts to interfere with this or this. I think you can get these aluminum, the, the body of it, too. They're cheaper. And maybe for like a horse in some building for where it is or not, all this acidity. Maybe don't need to spend all that. It'd probably hold up just fine for one or two animals. Or they put them outside, too away from all their feed and this is the salt and the feed that makes it in the silages but you gotta have darn thing close to the 
manger where you can see it. And that locks it out. See here. I don't want to crack anything off down lower. Probably would hurt to get this thing started if we screw them down. I don't know how nice that works. Not like having some heifer lick your head while you do this. Tame. Hmm? You're gonna clean my beard. Maybe we should tighten that down that way. It's fitting a little loose, but I don't think that one. 11 sixteenths is going to be on there. Yay! Hmm. At least they're not scared of us. And then this screws your adjustment screw for speed. You know, sometimes this guy might interfere with that tray, but he looks low enough. And the hose is above because your heater is right underneath it. The heat goes up. I've never had these freeze, unless the heater was not working. I suppose we should put those nuts on next. Ideal would be this would be bigger. There would be no connect, no splices underground. All the splicing would be above ground. That would be ideal, but it takes a lot of room up here to get that to happen. You have to have two pipes. One come up, one go back down with a key on top. So then you can make repairs up here. But that's all been under there 31 years already, and I don't believe it's going to start leaking tomorrow. And so another thing is you get water splashing with that electricity you want to be and you can control your speed a little bit with that guy now you got to kind of look when we got eight calves here they're they're not even a year old six month old calves don't need the water to run that fast and if it runs slower it won't make nearly as much mess So the only difference in the other barn is this tray is bigger. You know, the whole circumference is a 16. This is, I think, called a 12. But the parts underneath are all the same? But yeah, I, I, the, the heater is the same, except the, the frame that holds is longer. Or I think, I think actually the heater is a little longer. But I got them. I'll show you them there, what I got. See, and then that balance beam, this is a big weight. There's a nut right here. You can slide it in or out, and that, that decides how full the tray is going to be. How much water do you want in there? You want enough, you know, the bigger cattle, you want it full, more full, but the more full it is, the more they slosh it around and, you know, you get a bigger mess out of it. So you have to kind of judge what you want to do. Like in the winter, it's not such a big deal. See, he's still being a new valve. He might... We're just gonna leave him like that. It's not a big deal. If it does run over, it ain't gonna flood the barn. It don't run that fast. I mean, you'll be checking them, but then you just, so what I do is open the valve all the way up more. So if you flush it, even that valve, crack them open, get some more flow going, and then readjust everything back down, because you might have a flake or something get caught under there. There, that's as good as that. Okay, we're back in the shop now, cleaning up our tools. Dad just showed me some of the extra parts he has on hand in case we would ever need them, and he's not here, and then I, I got a better idea of what to have. I, I knew that we had stuff and roughly where it was, but now I got a better idea. See that little clamp right here? This guy. That holds that tube in place. This tube? Yeah, that comes up to the cup. That holds it like right in here somewhere. I don't know if that's interfering, but you can put that in 
if it would interfere with the tray. See now these, this one's a new one, but I, there's, these are different too. Because you gotta figure it's just wider. I think it's just a little bit longer, maybe a little taller. Then that hose is different, and I think that heater is different. Otherwise, the rest of the parts are pretty much. Okay. So this is our. Part you, your limited part. headache. <laughs> Get you out of a pinch. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, that's uh, probably it for the water cup stuff. We'll move on to the next project for the day. Okay, we just finished letting the cows in. And Dad and I kind of went through his breeding program for the next month or so here because soon he'll be going on vacation, not for a whole month, but he just gave me a general idea of what cows are close and uh, which cows will probably uh, come and eat and need to get bred. So that was kind of nice to go through some of that with him, get a refresher on, uh, on his herd's breeding program. Right now he's cleaning out the barnyard. Then I'm gonna run the gates here and let him into the bull barn so he can scrape out the alley in there. Beep, beep. And there you have it. We're gonna end off the video here. Pretty productive video, got the drinking cups done and, and things like that. Thank you all for sticking to the end. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you next time.